Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. The ADC is used to convert analog voltage or signal to digital form, a very useful feature in microcontrollers. The input signal, with respect to a reference voltage, is converted to binary number. The number of bits of binary number depends on the microcontroller. Most of the Arduino boards support 10 bit precision, and the value is saved in its ADC register. Here, you may observe, analog input voltage is read by the ADC, and convert to equivalent digital value, then stored in the ADC register. To trigger the ADC conversion, the analog read function is called, along with the analog pin number as input. After ADC conversion, the digital value is returned to the variable. Here, 10-bit precision is shown as example, that is in the range of 0 to 1023, which depends on input voltage. The digital output value depends on reference voltage also, which is equal to VCC, by default. You may use internal reference voltage, like 1.1 or 2.56, depending on the Arduino board. You may choose external reference voltage also, and set a reference voltage of your choice at a ref pin on Arduino board. These are the ADC input pins, identified as A0, A1. A2, A3, and so on. This is the ADC reference pin identified as A ref, used for external reference voltage. Now, in the step by step Arduino, you'll learn about ADC and a simple DC voltmeter. For simplicity, the circuit explained for connecting an LCD display is used here. This is a basic circuit for ADC conversion, where a variable input DC voltage is applied between any ADC pin and ground. So, for LCD, 4 pins are used for data, 2 pins for control, ground connection, and 5 volts DC supply. Now open Arduino IDE, using LCD sketch. No change in pin connections, and setup. Scrolling effect is added for simple Makeatronics in title. In the loop function, LCD contents are cleared, and cursor is set to first row and first column. Then, the input voltage at A, 0, pin, is read, using analog read function, and the digital value is saved to a variable ADC val. Then, the ADC val is displayed on the LCD. This loop continues with a delay. Now, compile and upload the sketch. Initially, the LCD displays the titles and then scrolls. Then, starts displaying the ADC value, read at A, 0, pin, continuously. These are the ADC input pins. Now, a wire is connected to A, 0, pin, for easy access. If the other end of wire is connected to VCC, the display shows maximum digital value. Similarly, the display shows zero if connected to ground. Connect one more wire to ground, then check. Like any other Arduino pin, analog pin also may be defined and called by its name. Here a zero is named as ADC pin. You may add some prefix text for ADC value. Now, compile and upload the sketch. Connect some resistance, say 10K, between analog pin and ground to reduce fluctuations. You may easily find the difference. The unused analog pins also shall be connected to ground through some resistance for more steady value. You may observe that, by touching with your hand, also causes fluctuating ADC value. Again in the Arduino IDE, the sketch is changed to, display ADC value, on the first row of LCD, and voltage on the second row. A formula for volts, based on the ADC val, is defined.
Now, compile and upload the sketch. Now, both ADC value and voltage are displayed on the LCD. You may connect some DC power sources below 5 volts between ADC input and ground for testing. The variable resistor is connected as per the circuit. 2 to power supply and third to a zero pin. This is the circuit for testing with variable DC power supply in default reference mode. The 5 volts and ground are connected to extreme pins of variable resistor and middle pin to ADC input pin. Now, by rotating the knob, the ADC value, as well as the voltage, also changes proportionately. At maximum ADC value, maximum voltage is displayed. Just note down the ADC value at 1.1 volts in default mode. The function analog reference is used for selecting the required reference type. If analog reference function is not used in the sketch, means it is default mode, that is board or VCC voltage. If the input to analog reference function is set to internal, then it uses internal reference, either 1.1 or 2.56 volts, which depends on Arduino board, is used as reference for ADC. Internal voltage for Arduino Uno is 1.1 volts. So, the formula for volts has to be updated. Now, compile and upload the sketch. When you rotate the knob of variable resistor, the maximum voltage is equal to internal reference voltage. The ADC value also reaches to its maximum and no further increment is observed. This is the circuit for external reference mode. For testing, 3.3 volts output is connected to a ref pin and variable resistor. Now, the input to analog reference function is changed to external. Also, the volts formula is updated. Now, compile and upload the sketch. Now, when the knob of variable resistor is rotated, the ADC value and voltage varies accordingly. You cannot measure more than the reference voltage, that is 3.3 volts, and the ADC value also, reaches to its maximum. This is a simple circuit diagram for ADC voltmeter using Arduino board. Here, a simple resistance network is used, for voltage adjustment at ADC input pin. These resistors are used as voltage dividers, to limit the voltage at ADC pin. Here, the sketch is to be modified, for 10 volts DC voltmeter. Please press like button, if you like this video, then subscribe for more projects, and also share with your friends. The ADC value is also displayed, which is useful for debugging. This may be removed afterwards. The voltage formula is also updated. Now, compile and upload the sketch. If you test the input without the resistance network, the input 5 volts from the Arduino board is displayed as 10 volts proportionately. That is, the displayed voltage is double the input voltage at the ADC pin. So, add the resistances as shown in the circuit. Now, the resistors are connected, as per the circuit diagram, to measure 10 volts. Connect some reference power supply and note the voltage measured, using a multimeter. Now, connect the same power supply across the two probes, positive and negative. Then start adjusting the variable resistor until the display shows the reference voltage measured earlier. The positive probe is free and connected to ADC pin, with resistances in series. The negative probe is free and connected to ground pin of Arduino board. Now, your 10 volts DC voltmeter is ready. You may check any DC voltages up to 10 volts, with correct polarity. You may modify the code for any DC voltage. But, remember to change the series resistance accordingly. Now, compile and upload the sketch. Now, change the series resistor, connected to positive probe.
Again, rotate the knob of variable resistor to adjust the display voltage till it matches to previous reference voltage. Now, you can measure up to 20 volts DC. Please note the precautions to be taken for accuracy while using analog to digital conversion system. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and more videos are available at Simple Makertronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.